Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode from the Obsidian Order. I care and today uh, we're gonna build a gas farm, I believe. Yeah. I, I wanna solidify that gunpowder and I wanna do it with a gas farm instead of using uh, a creeper farm. And so what we're gonna need to do is have a bunch of wither roses and then we're in luck guys because in the last stream we actually built a wither rose farm. And I'm gonna show you what that farm looks like right now. So yeah, guys, that uh, Wither Rose farm is amazing. It, it creates a ton of Wither Roses. It's by Rayworks. Exuma Void has also built it already once on the Hermitcraft server. And so we've built it because it's going to work well for us. So in order to build this gas farm, we're going to need a ton of glass. So luckily, we stumbled upon a ton of sand from building Mantis's map. Guys, if you haven't seen that video where I built Mantis's map for... Uh, part of the Christmas episode to go check that out. So we're gonna let the sand smelt up because we're gonna need that for uh, for the uh, main part of the build of the gas farm. Just basically covering it, containing whatever spawns inside. That's just what the glass is gonna be for. And we're just gonna use all of this sand up. Uh, we've got a ton of coal, so it should should smelt up. We may just have to uh, remove some of it. And the other thing we're gonna need is. Um, plenty of soul sand now that's the thing that I don't have plenty of we got like four pieces so I am gonna go into the nether collect some and uh, yeah we'll uh, we'll figure out what else we need after I do that all right guys we probably have a good start on glass for this project we're gonna go ahead and go get started on it that is a yeah, that is a pretty good bit of glass. We also collected our soul sand. We've got two shulker boxes. Not sure where the other one is, but it's in here as well. I don't think we're going to need that much, to be fair. But it's always nice to have a little extra. There it is, other soul sand. And uh, so we're, we're prepared. So what we're going to do is I'm probably actually going to be streaming the building of this and using the replay mod to capture it. And so some of you may have seen this bit and some have not, but it'll be a different view because it'll be in a time lapse. So let's get over there. Okay, now that we have this thing built, we're going to do a little bit of a time lapse here to kind of explain what's going on with this farm. Now, keep in mind that this is a 30 minute time span knocked down to one minute. So basically what we have is a 64 block long farm that is also 22 blocks wide. We've got a flying machine in the middle there that is just working like a sweeper moving mobs to each end. And then we've got soul sand platforms that have wither roses on top. Now, the reason we chose soul sand is because items will actually fall through the soul sand into hoppers that are underneath, and that's how we're collecting. There's no sorting system or anything like that. Now, we do have pigmen spawning, and the pigmen are going to spawn on the soul sand only because the rest of the farm is lit up, and that's how we're getting the rates of the magma cubes and the gas. And we could probably cut down on some of the pigmen by lighting up the soul sand, but it's nice to get a little bit of gold in return there as well. So. Anyways, this is pretty much how it works, and we'll show you what the, what the rates look after like a 30-minute hour 
um, AFK session. All right, so after about half an hour, these are the rates here. Uh, you actually get more pigmen than I would expect. But anyways, there's quite a bit of gold here. And there are 14 of the gas tiers, 20 of the magma cubes. And of course, this is only half of the farm, a half a stack of gunpowder. We have another chest down here at this end. And it's pretty much similar rates there. A couple more gas tiers, a little more gunpowder. And so that's not bad for half an hour. That's really not. And I think this farm is actually probably the better of the ones that I've made. Um, gas farm wise. So this is pretty good. And hopefully it's going to provide me with plenty of gunpowder for the flights and the rockets. And yeah, I've actually AFK'd quite a bit other than this already. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, so it's been a while. So we got quite a quite a bit of stuff here for going forward here. Especially this is what we were really looking for was the gunpowder. Didn't want to build another creeper farm because there's several on the server already. But anyways, I've got a, a couple other things I want to do in this episode. So let's get back to the portal now that I've run out of rockets and go see about uh, doing some of those things. The next thing that I want to do in this episode is kind of deal with this room a little bit. Uh, mainly I want to take care of the staircase because I'm getting tired of jumping up and down. I, I want to put some actual stairs in, kind of make it look a little nicer. So part of that's just going to require digging out this wall so we can replace that. And then I'm going to put in uh, probably just nether brick here. And uh, let me put the torch back, that way it's covered. Yeah, so we're just probably just going to nether brick this whole section all the way up. Might put some detailing in um, afterwards. The nether brick will then obviously come here as well. Probably have a doorway in there. Does that seem right? Yeah. Here or here, maybe we'll make it too wide. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to have to remove the furnace, probably. And then we've got to dig this stairwell out one block the rest of the way to the top. And this should allow us to put down some stairs. So let me go ahead and do the demolition bit. And then we will put some of the bulk placement of blocks in place. And then, of course, we will then be able to take care of this we may we may not have needed to dig that out but anyways let me uh, let me do the work here and i'll show you the progress okay so i pretty much got the stairwell done i wanted to bring you guys in but there wasn't a whole lot to do other than what we've done so basically it's what we talked about there's a little detail work in here i did add a door that comes back in here it can i kind of access the redstone to this trash setup here that we've got in the wall which of course i can throw in uh, things that I don't want and they get tossed in the trash just like that and that's pretty much dropped onto a cactus and then of course we closed off this room here uh, we'll probably do some more with it I'm not sure this is basically just a farm and a furnace setup which I had to break the furnace down a little bit to get this uh, to fit with the wall of course, we're going with this extra trap door on top to uh, extend the doors. Makes it look a little more fancy. We got rid of the um, scaffolding here, which I loved the fact that the scaffolding was there, but the scaffolding is also kind of slower because I can drop down this ladder. Of course, I think that changes in 115. Uh, but we, what we've done is broke out the block here and then put these uh, trap doors in, and it kind of looks like a vent um, that allows us to drop down there and have the scaffolding out of the way and let's see what this looks like from the outside i don't think it looks terrible what makes it look like a vent in the wall like another window at that level we could actually add a couple of more of those in there especially like maybe one on this side anywhere where it's not going to show up from the inside would be fine and then of course our wall here it was a little tricky to figure out what I should do with this transition, and I kind of liked this archway. kind of makes it look like the porch is supported more than it already is. And then, of course, this was the natural stone that was already here, the same way we have it around. Uh, and then a, a here, of course, and then we turn it into the nether brick 
pretty much what just went with the uh, uh, jungle wood and nether brick. Yeah, so we've pretty much just went with the jungle wood and the nether brick, and then I really love putting the lighting on the wall. Like, I like how it's floating in there because it's actually hanging and not being placed. Uh, let's take that out. We can show you what the difference is. If we place it on the ground, now you still got the chain. So it's it's one of those small detailed variations that may or may not think about a lot. And then, of course, we put an upside down, an upside down and a right side upstairs to give that other pocket just kind of gives the wall a little bit more interest i've been noticing that a lot on actual irl builds where there's a lot of stuff going on that we see um in the sharpness thing where we see like an indent or a different material comes in but everything's all the same color and i think adding some stuff like that into a flat wall um like this and then of course what we've done is varied up this is every other block on this side same thing over here but it's actually on the opposite block so this one if we turn if we look at this one and then turn around we're going to be looking at the wall so that kind of pulls your eye away from the symmetry even though it's there so anyways this is a lot to be said about nothing but a staircase but that bit's done and we're getting closer to having uh stuff at spawn done so that we can get busy with our um our base eventually of course there's a couple other things i want to show you we still have our horse stable to do and i really want to um when we're not recording or when we're not in a hurry to use the horse as much as possible so i mentioned in the beginning of the episode that we were going to be streaming more often and that is the case i also have decided that during streams i was going to be building a uh, a new area that way i wouldn't have to cut into uh what i might want to do on videos to stream and so what we're going to do is fly over here to an area where what we've laid out is to build a new area that's going to be uh turn of the century industrial um type thing <laughs> I, I don't know how well that fits in with the theme of being fantasy, but it's going to work. It's going to work. So we haven't really done any building. We've kind of laid out a road. Again, I'm going to mention that this granite here is temporary, and these are just layouts here. But what we're going to do is go with a lot of brick to make that industrial and turn to the century brick building fills. But I think this area over here is going to be really nice. Hopefully it'll be a destination people want to show up to. But anyways, guys, now that I've shown you guys that, I want to do one more thing in this episode. And it's visit our good old friend, the Hungry Squid. He has a catchphrase that I just can't get away from when he says it. And it, I just decided that, uh, well, you're going to see what we do. But I decided that he needed this catchphrase all over his base or a big sign of it on his base. So let me show you what I did. <laughs> 